Igby has buddies. Haven't you got buddies, Igby? Many. You have that buddy with the cute little name, that, that, that little buddy tortoise. Turtle. 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 He was my best buddy. Then his rifle backfired and blew his face off. We all learned a valuable lesson about weapon maintenance that day. Why didn't the school inform me? It wasn't the school's fault. They were great about it. Pay for the dry cleaning and everything. Not because they had to, but because it was the right thing to do. Hi. You can stand at attention there, Slocum. What exactly do you think you're doing here, Slocum? The Ritz-Carlton was full. So, uh, you're an artist? What kind of art? Well, do you mean, what kind of art? Well, I mean, do you paint, or what? I got what you meant, but you obviously didn't get what I meant. An artist creates art regardless of what form the canvas takes. So what do you do, paint? I'm a performance artist. Oh, so you don't paint. Are you vegetarian? Why would you ask that? I've just never seen anybody roll a joint like that. Well, what does that have to do with being a vegetarian? Well, they're just so precious. I roll perfect joints. I'm not putting them down. They're incredible. Oh, well, thank you. It's incredible that a human being could make such neat little joints. You make it sound as if I'm anal or something just because I know how to roll a perfect joint. No, not anal. Vegetarian. Well, what does that mean? Well, you don't roll like big Rasta spliff joints, do you? Your joints are like salad joints, not like a big, sloppy, bleeding cheeseburger that you rip into kind of a joint. Joint. I don't have a brother. I'm an only child. Oliver's your brother, I thought. He is, and yet. And yet what? Well, I was about to say that we were both raised only children, but that sounds like something you would say. What do you do? I'm preparing to leave. Where do you want to go? Far away. I was thinking about joining the Peace Corps. Bought my razor's edge experience. Discover the meaning of life. Whatever. You need at least three years of college to join the Peace Corps, don't you? You do? Yeah. I had a friend at school who joined. Well, that could be a slight snag. I haven't even gotten around to taking my GED yet. So take it. I gotta go to Hackensack. How did you end up at military school? Mimi. Mimi? My mother. You call your mother Mimi? Heinous one is a bit cumbersome. Oh, right. Medea was already taken. Your mother sent you to military school? Well, in all fairness to her, I did get kicked out of most of the schools on the East Coast. Still, I just assumed that military school was an empty threat like with most parents. She called that bluff. Do you resent her for sending you there? Is your father dead? No. Why? Because when I talked about mine, you didn't feel obligated to compare and contrast. He's a theologian. A Jewish theologian and a metaphysical poetess. Doesn't explain you. What would? Cross-dressing psychoanalysts? Heroin junkies? I don't know. Thanks. I know a girl from Baltimore. She's done what? I know a girl from Baltimore. What are you talking about? I know a girl from Baltimore. So do I. Lisa, there's some guy here for you, but he keeps talking and I... I don't know. He keeps saying something about Baltimore. The drugs. Oh, the drugs. It's Igby. Ollie Slocum's younger brother, Igby. Igby! Oh, of course, of course. How is Ollie? Columbia, right? Right. Well, we're all hoping that once he's healed a bit from the accident, that he'll be able to lead a fairly normal life and be able to go back to, uh... Oh, no. What happened? Well, apparently, as far as anyone can tell, he was 
10 speeding a gazillion miles an hour through Central Park, racing with all the other young Turks, when apparently he caught his own reflection in the handlebar mirror and became so aroused by it that he burst his speedo shorts, which then got caught in the gears and just threw them right on his face and splatter. Luckily, someone had the presence of mind to scrape his face off the pavement and put it on ice. Doctors were able to graft most of it I'm back sorry. together. And you, you, um, well, this is what you're up to. <laughs> Bigger picture Darwinism. You two know each other. Wow. Yes, yes. Igby Slocum was in my art class. He was one of my students. You used to call me Miss Piggy, didn't you, Igby? <laughs> yeah. You want me to cut this for you? Your brother is looking for you. Yeah? Yeah. Your mom is dying. Yeah? Yeah. You know what you have to think of it as? What? Like an act of God. If there were a God, he'd have acted a lot sooner. <gasps> what? Nothing. Well? We've decided to bump all those incredibly prominent and terribly chic persons that you were expecting to speak at your memorial and, well, have me speak for two hours or so. What a clever idea. You do understand, though, don't you, that it is customary in a eulogy to at least make reference to the deceased? I intend to, Mother. Time permitting. But the first time in my entire life that I feel remotely affectionate toward her is when she's dead. You beat up her corpse. No, after that. The service is in two days. You can stay in your old room. You killed her, Ollie. You bury her. <laughs> 